oh my God, you need to see this video. It is the epitome. It is the essence of poor leadership first, but also why it is so hard. I don't want to say impossible, but it's really damn hard to have a well-rounded life as a working professional, a caregiver, and some semblance, a motocrom of self-care. So to set this up, this is the parent company of WebMD and the CEO. Many of you have come back to the office and we've noticed it's made a big difference. Unfortunately, too big of a group hasn't returned. They're in trouble. So the C We're getting more serious about getting everyone back into the office for the simple reason that we're better when we're together. We move faster, we get better results, and the executives are going to tell you more about that right now. We need you ready and present, and we need it now. Working together face-to-face -face helps us create ideas faster and better, so we have new products and new offerings for our customers. We're able to collaborate and help each other to be better leaders. We all know when we spend more time... Okay, let's pause here for a second. This dude can continue in a minute. Uh, incorrect, a little aggressive, and not very inspiring, I would say, so far. Let's continue, though. All right, Steve. Together, we end up creating better solutions for our clients. It encourages organic breakthrough moments of creativity, specifically across teams who haven't worked together in person as much before. It propels us into me. What is this dude smoking? Or what German false research has he come, come with? No. There is no research that says putting people in a massive office building encourages organic innovation. Not at all. What most people do is 97% of their day is they sit looking at their screen and talking maybe to the other two or three people that they happen to work most closely with. There is very very rare and insignificant cross-functional collaboration and innovation that comes from this organic connectivity. Much more happens when you're intentional, like being intentionally good to your employees. But anyways, let's continue. our business goals, and we definitely have big goals for 2024, and we need your help to accomplish those. We're better when we're together, and we need to be our best to crush our competition. We have been slow in getting back with some people and in some places. That's about to change. Your manager will be in touch with you shortly about how this will be implemented and tracked. Oh, so we're tracking this. This this has totally changed the tone. Tracking is, what are we, in kindergarten and we're taking attendance? Let's continue. Thank you, team. I want to leave you with this. We aren't asking or negotiating at this point. We're informing of how we need to work together going forward. It's, again, for the simple reason that great companies are built by great people working together and seeing each other eye to eye and tackling the big task. Thank you in advance for your help. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so basically the employees are being told to come back into the office. And not only are they being told to come back into the office, they are going to be tracked. And it's under the guise of some sort of business goals that they need to crush. Um, and, and some false information of why being together in an office where you can basically monitor the employee's productivity is more effective for the company. There is no mention of what's in it for the employee and why for them, this will make a better work life. And let's, let's, you know, park, this is just bad leadership. This is just another hammer in why working as a parent is so damn hard. Uh, coming out of COVID, there was this one silver lining because employees where previously the like flexible work from home folks had to be a kind of on this like cruise control post COVID where it became normal and okay for everyone to work from home it was it it sort of leveled the playing field and it allowed uh, those that need to do pick up and drop off, throw a load of the laundry uh, throughout the day, be there to put food into the oven so that when you pick up your kids at 4.30 and they need to be fed at five because they're under the age of six, seven, you could do that when you work from home and you don't have to go back onto that easy track. Now we're all fed this thought that professional 
go get them, put it all in. But that was in the context of a workplace where you worked and somebody else did the caregiving. That is not the case when you have both parents that are both working and trying to do the caregiving. And we're not even going to bring in the outsourcing of the nannies because that's a whole separate thing and income bracket and whatever. But for the folks that are going into that office, they don't have any nannies. They're doing it all. And that's why they want to be working from home, maybe in their boxers, but that's fine. So I don't know what to take from this, except if you are thinking of leaving your job because this is the kind of thing you're saying, I wouldn't go to WebMD. And if you are in the kind of role where you can work from home when you need to, so that you can feel like your insanity of life isn't uh, overtaken by so much in-person presence in the office and expectations that you can't get the other parts of life, namely caregiving and self-care fit in, then I don't know, like hug your manager and thank your lucky stars. Hope you enjoyed. Keep well.